Hello Taurus, welcome to your love reading. We're looking at the overall energy of your person's thoughts, feelings, and intentions with you. So let's take a look and see. The first energy is courage. Okay, Aspen Spirit. So courage means that your person has the the courage to step forward and to face you and, and really to look at the relationship in a bold way. We love courage. Love, ooh, wild rose fairy, your person is falling in love. And if the relationship is older, they do love you. If it's been, uh, if it's a more, a longer relationship that you've had, your person is in love. I love it. Love, love, love. Taurus, you know, you're the you're ruled by the planet Venus and the moon, so it makes sense. Mystic Meadows, your person feels as though you provide a sanctuary in the storm of life. <laughs> Almost seems like a movie line, but it is true. They feel that you are a safe place for them. I love it. All right, so let's look and see what the current situation is for your person in terms of your relationship with them. Currently, the Five of Swords. Ooh, there's some shadow energy here. This person wants to win. There's some confusion about how to win. They may feel that they don't have what it takes to give you what you want. The Five of Swords energy is almost like, well, I'm gonna you know, give my best and I'm hoping that I can convince them to love a person me quote unquote this is what they're thinking about themselves is that you know they might have to sort of cheat in the game of poker and the game of life to win you so i don't like that energy we see that they are well motivated but this person may not want to really tell you everything about their past relationships maybe that they feel that where they failed and so forth. Your person looks like they're still recovering, actually. They look like a wounded warrior with that energy. I get Ace of Cups, beautiful energy. So they want to win you. I don't like the fact that they may be less than forthcoming with information about their past in trying to win you and have you fall in love with them. So their intention is to win your heart, okay. So when we look at what brings them to the situation and the relationship, Eight of Wands, lots of passion, lots of fun. You really make them feel lighthearted. Your person feels very lifted, very spirited, very happy and joyful when they're with you. This is Sagittarius energy. This is Aquarius energy. So it's like being tactical, strategic. But when we look at the Eight of Wands, we're looking at passion, making love all night long, just the pure joy of a relationship that lifts your spirit. So when they think of you in the recent past, in terms of their thoughts, feelings, and intentions, we have the energy of the Moon card. So the Moon card is when a person feels insecure. The Moon card says, I don't really know, I'm really a little afraid. I feel that they may not really like me. I don't really know how Taurus feels about me. The moon card is Pisces energy. It can, it's like a person's subconscious mind. It can be what unravels them. Very Neptunian energy. Pisces is, you know, ruled by planet, the planet Neptune, which can lend confusion. But now I love this. You have two aces, ace of wands, the best that they will do in the short term right now when we look at this energy today they're taking the leap of faith they are passionately pursuing a relationship with you six of cups energy in the near future the six of cups is a reunion card and oftentimes it's someone that you've known in the past so this could even be an old lover returning thinking that well it didn't work out before but what we see is that you may have known this person for a very long time it's a card it's scorpio energy it's a card that really speaks to the fact that you may have known this person as a child high school you know those stories where well i went to my high school reunion it's a usa story but i went to this 
event in which I saw a lot of people from my past and they were there and well we fell in love again we had a crush on each other at an earlier time but life separated us so it looks like a reunion if you've been separated because of a fight or discomfort or even distance it does look like you're coming into union your person wants to make it happen lovely energy the strength card your person is coming in with a very strong courage Leo energy we saw this energy right here which was courage so they are gathering all of their strength all of their courage this is the infinity symbol they are in it to win it they want you they want this relationship to be successful they want to be happy they want to go the distance I feel as though that will include and does include a desire for you know infinity symbol is happily ever after look at this they see you as their soulmate the lover's card this is gemini energy so you may have a gemini uh, element in your chart but they love communicating with you they see you as rare and exotic they see you as somebody who they just adore they see you as someone who is uh, very charming very beautiful they find the way you dress interesting what do we have here for their fear or their hope well their hope is to to introduce you to all their friends uh, so you may know a lot of their friends if you indeed knew each other, grew up with each other, but the Nine of Cups is eat, drink, be merry, it's Pisces energy, it's the, celebra the celebration when you take your person out to meet all your friends and you have a night, you know, at a bar, restaurant, just having fun, going to the horse races, going to a party, you could meet somebody at a, merit, at a wedding. Um, but it is, their wish is really to make you very public in their life and in your relationship together. The outcome at this time, Queen of Pentacles energy, I love that energy, Capricorn. They are taking this relationship very seriously. The Capricorn Queen is um, very much the a person who knows exactly what must be done. Saturn rules Capricorn. Saturn is the co-ruler of marriage. Saturn is your rewards and your punishments if you don't do the right thing. So when we get the Queen of Pentacles, we get somebody who is very serious about a relationship with you, about being successful, about doing the right thing, about abiding by the rules, and all about the stability. We call it the mommy card or, you know, the wife card because it's a person who loves to build. You know, Capricorn's a very, we think of it as a serious energy, but it isn't, I know lots of very funny, charming, delightful Capricorns who really, you know, like to laugh and have fun. But it is a person who's very focused only on that which functions, works, on success, on, you know, how everything looks and works in a relationship. So it's great energy. Let's go ahead and clarify for you the energy that we see. Why do we have the Five of Swords for you, Taurus? Why is this Five of Swords? What is this energy? We may have to kind of go deep on that, but we'll see what happens here. Why the Five of Swords? Why is this person worried? They feel like there's a secret or something that, if revealed, would make you turn against them. Ten of Wands, they feel guilty. Ten of Wands is a burden that they've carried. What is a burden that they've carried, please? Three of Wands. Oh. <laughs> that's a nice burden that means that what they're hiding from you is that it appears that they're already in love with you and you they've chosen you whether they've really ever whether they've told you that or not I think you're oblivious I think you just would have no idea for some of you anyway we also have the eight of wands eight of wands eight of wands I love it when we get uh, repetition in the reading because it just confirms the energy eight of wands this is the same card in different decks again really feeling uplifted delighted charmed passionate desire to travel have adventures you know Sagittarius energy travel to other countries but you know hey keep the extinguisher by the bed because it is hot 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 the ace of cups why do we have the ace of cups here well they have been missing you the Ace of Cups is an awareness that in the absence, in your absence, they feel less invigorated, less happy. Um, this person also, if there was a conflict or an argument, they will apologize for it. So if there was any situation that you're upset about at this time, something they did or said, 
I feel as though they didn't really ever mean to offend you, and I feel as though you'll get that apology. We also get the Ace of Wands. Oh, again, Ace of Wands and the Ace of Wands, repeating cards. This person is very, this is this is fire sign energy. They're very passionate. They want to take action. This is a person who is convinced that you have to do something, show something, be something, communicate something to make things work. No, it's true. What's the Eight of Wands here for? Why is it here for you? Let's see what we have. Ah, the Ace of Coins. There's an offer. The Ace of Coins is a substantial offer. When we look at the possibility of an engagement, when I look for couples at the dynamic, the Ace of Pentacles. So you've got three Aces. My God, you've got the three fabulous Aces. The Ace of Pentacles says that your person is very serious about the relationship. Queen of Pentacles tells us, really confirms it. And this is a potential ring. So they have thought of marrying you. They think of marrying you. They think of what life would be like day to day living with you. Why do we have the Moon card here? What are they afraid of? Three of Swords. Okay. So they're very much afraid of a third party situation. They're afraid of heartbreak. They're afraid of other people interfering in the relationship. Um, you know, and when I see Three of Swords, I'm going to really reiterate here. This can mean somebody's married. It definitely can mean that you're in a third party situation or that they're fearful that you're still married. Those things could all be true, but also the other meanings need to actually be expressed. And that is sometimes a third party, if you're older, for instance, I get calls all the time about people who are marrying and the adult children of a partner seem to be causing problems. Uh, sometimes this can be someone's job or they may be removed from you. They could be taking care of a parent. Um, so there's a lot of different reasons we can get the Three of Swords. It does, it is that your person is fearful of heartbreak, fearful that other people could come between the two of you. But it's also the classic meaning of a fear of abandonment or you choosing someone else in some way. All right, what else do we have here for that moon card? The Ace of Swords. Oh, my God. The Ace of this. Okay, so now we have the Page of Swords. So your person routinely looks at whatever social media they can find. But, Don, I don't have any social media. Well, even if they just want to look at your picture when they're feeling down, because a moon card can be depression, uh, even then, what we see is your person does search for pictures and information just for the fun of it. The sheer fun of it. Why do we have the Ace of Wands here? The Ace of Wands is an initiator. Okay, so this person has taken their time. Oh, they're waiting to see you. They are waiting to see you. It may take some time for them to get to see you, especially if you're at a distance. So the Two of Swords says that they're trying to ignore the fact that they just want to I wanted to say jump your bones, but that's a little bit overboard. But it came into my mind, and I don't think like that typically or in those terms. But what I'm seeing is they can't wait. They, they're waiting patiently. They're not saying much, but they're waiting to see you. I have to have that reunion. Six of Cups, Six of Cups, repeating cards. So why do we have the Six of Cups here in the near future for you? It looks like you're getting together. Yes. Okay. So for some of you, if there was a breakup, it looks like a makeup. They can't wait for that. Um, if the two of you are at a distance, then they can't wait to come back to see you. Now, the Eight of Cups, the traditional meaning is different than my experience of it as a reader, which is very important. The Eight of Cups, typically the traditional meaning is your person wasn't satisfied and they walked away. But I traveled for many years as an international flight attendant and purser for an airline that most of you, it's quite, quite well known. And what was interesting about the Eight of Cups is that we always left home for these journeys, oftentimes eight days. But, and we, le we loved our love, our home, but we also returned. So the interesting thing about the Eight of Cups is you have to be careful not to see this as a final break. Sometimes it's sadness because, you know, somebody works in another city or another country or another place. Or, you know, with the past two years, 
uh, there may have been some sort of separation. The additional meaning to this is that they could have walked away from a third party situation for a reunion with you. So I will give you all the options of what it could mean or most of them that come to mind quickly. And take what resonates. You know, a general reading's like a buffet table. You take what's yours, you leave the rest, and you don't get offended. You just, it's a general reading. If you want a personal reading, then you hone in and you, you know, you go to the website and you, you get that for yourself. You obtain one. Ah, the Ten of Cups. Walk, oh, this is a traditional meaning. Literally, the traditional meaning of the Eight of Cups is walking, leaving something behind so that you can walk to something that you want. That's a happily ever after marriage card, you know. And I am not afraid at all to call a marriage energy a marriage energy because it's a commitment energy. We see commitment energy here. And a lot of people really hesitate and they water it down because they don't want people to expect to marry a person. But... I think it's only fair if I give you the bad news or the, the interpretation of the negative cards that I give you the full interpretation of the positive card. So what to me, the, what this says is marriage potential. There's no guarantee, but your person thinks about it. They think that you could be the one. They think that you could be happily ever after. They feel as though you know, you're the happiest relationship that they've had probably to date in their life. Why do we have the strength card for your person? Temperance. Okay, that's a reconciliation card and a reunion card. So what we see here is two people who are coming back together, no matter what the circumstances are. You know, you could have been gone to work that day, had a little spat. Temperance could take place in eight hours, but it could be also a longer period of time. Okay, eight of coins. I like it. Your person wants to get to know you better. They want to get to know all about you. They want to invest I think at times that they've held back. I feel as though that Eight of Swords self-imposed restriction is because they they really find you as their happy place. But I actually think that that Eight of Swords is reminiscent of this person holding back because they have fear. Okay? So sometimes they hold back, but they're trying to learn how not to hold back. They're trying to come to you in a much more fun, jubilant, playful way. So if this person has been reticent, you're going to find that you have a lot more fun in the relationship. The lover's card, what is the choice that needs to be make with, made with this lover's card? We have the energy of the Son of Pentacles slowly moving forward into committed relationship. Because when we go from the Knight of Pentacles, which is what this card is, Virgo energy, being very practical, very down to earth, uh, paying attention to the day-to-day -day routines and the things that happen in the relationship. I do have an astounding, interesting relationship factoid for you that I will put uh, towards the end of the reading in a title, and it's about how you get there, how do you succeed in a relationship. It's from John Gottman, a very famous marriage researcher. And so the Son of Pentacles is very tried and true, doing the work, being conscientious, being honest. The Daughter of Swords, again, we have this energy of the Son of Swords. So we have a lot of Page of Swords energy here, but we also have somebody who's in it to win it and who's willing to, to learn. Okay, so the Devil energy says that your person feels held back by the fact that you have not been together in a public venue or a public place. That is Capricorn energy. The devil card means that your person really would like more control. They want a new beginning. This is a card to me, the way I'm reading it here is that they're obsessed with the idea of a new beginning. They're obsessed with the idea of, you know, winning the relationship, winning your heart, having success again. The star card, healing old wounds, but it's also hopes and dreams for love coming true. So the star card is a very important card and it is Aquarius. It's enlightened energy. It's spiritual. It means your person really loves you spiritually. They love you physically. They love you from their heart space. They love you intellectually. You know, you've got all the aces. You've got every ace here. So I love it. Did we get the Ace of Swords? We did get it in a clarifier somewhere. All right, so what do we have here? The Queen of Pentacles energy for you 
is the cards fell out i'm not going to take those let's see why is the queen of pentacles here why do they want to invest so highly with you ah high priestess they have not told you yet the high priestess is uh, very intuitive it's cancerian energy this person sees you exotic they see you like as a white tiger somebody who's exceedingly special uh, the high priestess though is discreet it's a person who doesn't speak much they have a tendency to uh, hold back uh, but this is a very nurturing energy. It's also the energy of the uh, anthropologically or historically speaking. The high priestess was sort of the healer of the wisdom uh, in a tribe of people. So your person is trying to be very wise. They are missing you terribly. They feel left in the cold. They feel as though they're going to perish if they don't get to see you. Uh, daughter of Pentacles. So again, Page of Pentacles. So it looks like your person is in it to win it. And I'm going to leave it there. Now take a look at the screen above because you're going to see your, your tip to how to have a very successful long-term committed relationship as science has presented it. Thanks so much, everyone. Sending you love from Chicago. Please leave a comment. Tell me where you're from because as a worldwide travel traveler. I just love to talk to other people in other countries. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.